Hey Patreon, this is uh, uh, Prometheus once again, uh, just coming back to you with some more Red Zone requests. I've had a lot of Patreons request me to do Red Zone breakdowns. Uh, this is going to be out of the Cardinals playbook, part of the Cardinals um, uh, offensive scheme. We're going to be using the gun wing stacked. Um, uh, previously um, on my YouTube channel, I'm going to go ahead and break down the doubles corner and show you the versatility of the way this play works and how you can use this to manipulate your, your opponent's zones. Uh, so it's going to really open up your scheme. So I'm going to go ahead and show that to you um, uh, right before we jump into the breakdown of these other plays. Uh, but the other plays we're going to take a look at, I'm going to take Ohio Spacing. I don't really care for this play too much. I'm going to replace it with a double cross. We're going to leave the inside zone and levels and play action curl post. So uh, basically what we're going to do is I'm going to show you doubles corners. I'm also going to show you uh, levels. I'm going to show you basically attacking your opponent with the inside zone, play action curl post, and then the other play we're going to take a look at is going to be levels. This is going to allow us to attack our opponent in different areas of the field and actually make it very difficult for, for him to, to, to stop you from getting into the red zone with this particular uh, offensive set. So right now let's go and jump in the doubles corners, and then I'm going to go and jump into some of the other plays after that. Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. All right, so guys, I've got a lot of uh, patrons and also subscribers that request Red Zone plays. So uh, one of the formations I really like a lot is the Gun Formation Wing Stack. And, and the reason why is that it allows you to go ahead and attack your opponent with, uh, with a quick inside uh, passing range. Out and I started labbing uh, this particular play out of the gun wing, wing stack, which is the double corners, and this really allows you to attack the flats and also the corner routes, the deep corners of the of the red zone areas of the field that people are not used to defending. So uh, guys, I broke down uh, basically uh, multiple different sets ups uh, and, and multiple different ways to attack your opponent with this particular play. Uh, attacking the left side in particular the right side is going to be where we're really going to be attacking our opponent at and I have about four different setups I want to show you. Now, uh, if you go to my, one of my favorite uh, websites which is the MaddenFocus.com website uh, it doesn't, a lot of these formations are hidden in here but I'll show you uh, the wing stack. You can find this in the Ravens. Uh, you can also find this in uh, the Bears defense or offense. Uh, you can also find it in the Jag uh, not, not the Jaguars because that's a that's a single back for for a variation of it. Uh, let's see here. Another one, another one uh, is going to be uh, the Chiefs, the Chargers, run balanced and the Cardinals, that's where I've actually found this play. So there's variations of this in single back and the, and the stack Y off. Uh, I haven't labbed the other setups because uh, the running back route really is gonna be uh, is gonna be critical to this. So in the Chargers, uh, you gotta have that running back route is gonna be on the right-hand side of the formation and I prefer this in a gun formation. So let's, let's go and jump into this breakdown and show you how this, this opens up your red, red zone opportunities. So once again, uh, it's gonna be the gun wing stacked and uh, the, the bottom uh, F, or, uh, wide receiver, uh, your uh, primary wide receiver, your best wide receiver, you want to put him on the lower part of the st stack. So uh, Larry Fitzgerald is my better of, the, of my wide receivers, and I put him uh, in the wide receiver flip uh, position. And once again, the play is going to be the double corners. Now, uh, most players don't necessarily go ahead and use any kind of aggressive man blitzes down in the red zone. Uh, usually, a lot of the good players will actually use zone and force your opponent to actually make some reads. So this is really what we're gonna, how we're going to set this play up. Uh, for the most part, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my back Backside receiver, a number one wide receiver, and actually put him on a slant route. He's going to be our first read. And the running back is going to be a wild card. I mean, they're going to go ahead and put him on a streak route, which is kind of an out and up. I'm going to go ahead and put him on, on out routes, or I'm going to go ahead and put him on a wheel route, depending on the coverage. Now, if i got my opponent that's using uh, a lot of, uh, I don't really know what he's going to be using right, right from the very beginning as far as coverage. If he's using a lot of, uh, of uh, man coverage, I'm just going to go ahead and leave my running back blocking or that delayed block opportunity. And really what you're going to do is you're going to look for this, this inside slant route. This is going to be the area that you can attack your opponent with a lot of man blitzes. Um, another thing you can do, too, uh, with this in your place, you could take a Fitzgerald and put him on a, a flat route and then actually go ahead and take Kirk and put him on the corner route. So when you get those one-on-one -on -one type situations, uh, you'll be able to go and hit the corner. But the problem with the corner route is that it does take a little bit longer to develop. So uh, it might be a little bit difficult for you to do that. But that, that, that's actually another area of the field that you can hit against your opponent. Uh, conversely, uh, you've got a corner off the right-hand side that you can hit against your opponent uh, with uh, the other tight end. 
and let's see if we can get that so we can get that now what's cool about this particular play is this corner rod is going to get open uh, on a lot of different zone coverages but the way i like to set this up is i want to go have that inside uh inside uh slant route uh on the back end side and i'm going to go ahead and put my guy in a route uh, and I, I, when I pass lead this, I can do a high pass lead, but I always go ahead and pass back to the left. So I'm going to go the opposite direction of his route with this, with the slant route. So this is going to be the route that should be open a lot. I'm going to do back pass lead, and uh, that ball actually sails. Now I want to uh, bring to your attention. I'm using probably one of the. I'm using a rookie quarterback, so he's going to make some missed throws. But for the most part, uh, you can pretty much dot your opponent up with this play. Now, one of the common defenses used in the red zone is going to be cover two because you're protecting the flats, and you've also have got uh, basically uh, you've got a bunch of yellow zones over the middle. So uh, once again, we're going to still set everything up the same way. Uh, let's just leave the play as is, and uh, you're going to have this little window opportunity you can hit with the backside slant. So that's why I like to use that slant majority of the time against my opponent. Uh, I can flat up my backside receiver, uh, and then uh, basically do a smart route and just look high low. If the flat is open, I can go and check it down and actually go and take that if the defender floats up. So let's see if the defender doesn't float down. So we're just going to go and check it down and take an easy completion for a touchdown against uh, man to cover two. Now, if the defender plays a hard flat, you can obviously go and hit your opponent on the backhand side right here. I actually get a nice completion. So that's where you just don't go ahead and make that, that, that adjustment um, with the backhand side. So uh, on the right hand side, it actually gets even funner. Uh, so you can still do a little slant route on the back end side. Uh, so you can force your opponent to go and stop that against cover two. But uh, on the on the right hand side, uh, the cover two is shell is going to get eaten up. So the first thing you could do is you can go ahead and put your running back on a wheel route. And what's going to happen is because there's a flat defender out there, he's going to allow this running back to go and get a free lane into the red zone. He has to pull out with the, with the, with the, uh, with the, uh, the flat route. Now this is where I actually got a little bit excited about this play. I went ahead and labbed on the back end side. I labbed uh, basically taking the running back routes and putting him on a, uh, on a wheel. And this is where the corner gets opened up against cover two. See how the, the cover two route actually just gets completely opened up. Not a lot of people can actually successfully attack the corner in this game. The corner routes uh, in uh, Madden are uh, in the red zone. It's just not something a lot of people actually try to defend. Uh, but you can see right here, he actually gets naked because of this coverage. This running back route preoccupies the coverage against cover two, and it gives you that corner route wide open. So what's cool about this good play is that you can hit your opponent in different areas. He's going to have to defend this route looking to the inside and if, if he starts cheating on that you've got a corner out on the back end side that you can attack him with uh, with uh, with the tight end so let's just go see that open up it opens up defenders barely there sometimes you can has, ha, you can high, high ball pass lead it that's a little bit of a safer pass uh, but for the most part uh, the, the coverage will be in there so let's go ahead and take a look at this at cover three once again we see a single high safety we know the opponent's playing cover three we just go ahead and do the high low High, the low is actually opening. If you do a nice little rack animation, you should be able to get the ball in cover three once again. Safety plays off. We go ahead and just tack the, the corner on the back end side. But what I prefer, preferably, is just to go ahead and take that inside receiver off the left off the uh, the left hand side and just do a back pass lead or just let the guy pass the coverage. So. You want to go ahead and establish that as one of your go-to pass routes uh, because that will pretty much open up uh, everything else um, on this this uh, this offensive set right here. So you can get yourself in trouble right there if you don't set it up correctly. Now what if we uh, go with the, the wheel route off the back end side? You can see right here this actually gets uh, gives you an opportunity to get into the red zone right there with that little wheel route. So if you've got an opponent that's running a lot of sky against you, you can go ahead and use this. And you can see right here that that little wheel route by the running back actually gets cleared out by that that flat. So what if we go and streak up Johnson, our running back? That corner could be wide open once again because the defensive back doesn't know who to play in, the, in that route. Now what about a guy that runs a lot of cover four? Um, once again, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and look uh, to the inside pass lead. Any kind of matching principles with cover four uh, will basically open up this slant route over the middle, so he's going to have to use her that. Uh, what if we do the little wheel route on the backhand side? You can see he gets open, so the wheel route will be open for you against any kind of matching principles cover four. What if we streak up Johnson? Got that. 
corner route should be wide open. A good opportunity for you to go ahead and do a touchdown on the back hand side, or on the right hand side. So you're going to have a bunch of different areas of the field that you can attack. You're really not going to be attacking the middle of the field t uh, too much. Uh, it's it's going to be really, uh, for the most part, you're going to be attacking the corners against your opponent. Um, obviously, that could actually get usered up, but uh, this is just a, it's a very easy play to go and run in the red zone. It's going to give you an opportunity to go ahead and get a lot of touchdowns, and uh, preferably you want to do it you know, in between two yards and seven yards, somewhere in that range. Uh, but what's cool about this particular play, this, uh, this scheme is that you do have an inside run, so you got two tight ends, so your opponent's going to have to be conscious of the run, too. All right, so guys, uh, basically I'm going to go ahead and pull this this yardage back, to, uh, the yard yard marker back to, to about the 10 yard uh, yard line. This is where you can jump into some of the other plays. Uh, so I'm going to use this as just an open field concept. So I'm going to have random zone defenses. Not going to see a lot of man coverages uh, in the game uh, when you're in the red zone. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to basically go ahead and use zone coverages from from here on out. So we've got the double cross. Uh, we've got the inside zone. We've got the levels cons uh, levels, and then we have play action. Uh, curl post. Um, one play I'm not going to stay, I'm not going to go and jump into until I get about five yards or, or uh, five yards or, or in is going to be the double cross. It's going to be like between seven and, 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 uh, and two yards or so because this is going to allow me to attack my opponent on the back side of the red, uh, of the, the red zone and give me some easy completions. Uh, levels is going to be a play we'll probably jump into and then also a play action uh, curl post. So uh, first and foremost, uh, you've got the inside zone. So what's cool about this is that it allows you to go ahead and get some pretty good blocking. Uh, you've got two tight ends. You can jump into this play at any time. So at any level, uh, you just go ahead and run the ball. You can pick some pretty good yards against your opponent. It's a quick snap play because uh, it's inside zone. So uh, if you get get the what you're looking for, just go and take the yards. Just get a little bit closer to the red zone because that's going to go ahead and make it more difficult for uh, for your opponent to go and stop you. So right here, we got that uh, ball up to the six-yard line, and we'll go and jump to some other plays. Now, another play we could jump into is a play action curl post. So this is going to be um, another play we're going to use. And really where the action is going to be at is Fitzgerald's route. That's going to be the route that's where you're going to get the biggest yardage opportunity. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to try to highball the pass. Now, I don't know what the what the computer is using against me, um, so it could be some kind of a random coverages. Um, but uh, basically, what's going to happen is a lot of times this wide receiver, Fitzgerald, the wide receiver number one, if you use the flip, uh, is going to get past the coverages and actually be naked in the back of the red zone. So let's go and see how that opportunity comes shows up. So if you've got a good catch in traffic wide receiver, highball the pass by hitting the left bumper. Uh, that's going to give you an opportunity to attack your opponent right in the seams with this bigger play. So let's see if we can get that again. And you can see it actually gets right past the coverage. So you're going to get a get a, a touchdown opportunity right down in, in the red zone. So let's go ahead and try this one more time. Now, uh, the other read, too, is Seals-Jones. Uh, this That's going to be some nice pressure off the edge right there with the 40 guys. But I just wanted to show you that you can get this off with, with a subpar offense. So you can see. Here you go. All right, so another opportunity to get it in the red zone. I'm trying to force it to Seals-Jones to show you how that works. Um, and I uh, let's see if we can get one more opportunity without any kind of block shit. See, so you can see where you can actually dump it down right here uh, and be able to get an opportunity to pick up about seven yards right there. So that's that's how you get a little bit closer to the red zone. Now levels. Uh, levels actually a little bit better when you when you use it a little bit closer. But the thing with this good play is that you've got that backside receiver Fitzgerald doing a little in route. We're gonna we've also got the the uh, it looks like a like a. Uh, flat up and then uh, curl like a, a drag across the middle and then what I like to do is I like to take a Johnson's route on uh, play I like to go ahead and get rid of uh, his uh, block and release and put it in a wheel route because a lot of times what happens is no one's going to cover Johnson in the flat and this is going to be able to get you some pretty cheap yards real close to the red zone now um, one of the things that I noticed with levels is that this running back route is going to get is always going to get naked for the most part. So uh, that's going to give you an opportunity to, to do that. Now, if the defender actually plays down to it, uh, you just wait for the next uh, you, you wait for the next progression to actually open up. So let's just go and see this. Nobody goes to the flat. I'm going to go ahead and just tack and get the ball right down to the two yard line. Drop pass right there by Johnson, but you can expect that against a really good defense. So we're going to go and wheel it up. Look. Nobody's around him. Just, just no one falls down to this guy. I'm just going against random zone coverages, so this is going to make it very difficult for for him to stop that route. So you can jump into that levels uh, and really give him a hard time. So let's just see. Watch. Floats up. 
nobody following him. We're just going to go and take the ball right in the red zone, and you're going to piss your opponent off. Now, um, another thing, too, with this figure play is you got that backside uh, wide receiver route by Fitzgerald, uh, which you can you can go ahead and hit if you got the time. And uh, right here, I'm actually throwing it to a crowd. I like actually having the ball up a little bit closer uh, with that backside route. So what I would probably, you know, with with the uh, the doubles cross and also with the levels, if I'm trying to hit the back of the end zone, I want to be a little bit closer. So more like about the five yard line with that. But I would probably jump into the inside zone, play action curl post, and, and probably levels, uh, and, and actually go ahead and, and look to the running back route because you can see. Nobody follows this guy. This is like you're giving an, you're getting a, you're getting that opportunity to get that ball closer to the red zone where you, where you can make these these plays a little bit more efficient. So let's go ahead and move the ball up a little bit. We're gonna put it up to the five yard line. And we're gonna show you where where the magic really starts happening right here at the five yard line. So at the five yard line, uh, let's show you doubles cross. So uh, once again, I'm gonna go ahead and wheel up my running back. I want my opponents to go and see this. And this is all about Grisham, all about Grisham. Just a high ball pass lead it. And hopefully your quarterback doesn't spray the ball like that, guys. Uh, you know, I feel sorry for you got anybody that's loyal to um, uh, these Cardinals. But watch this, watch this. Come on. Let's go ahead and see if we can hit that. So uh, the, the, the single coverage was right there. Uh, but when you get an opportunity like this where you get double coverage, this is where you can get an opportunity to go and hit this. So one, two, three, you're just going to go and drop that ball right in the middle. So if your opponent's trying to defend the corners, now you can go and jump into this play. And this is one quick adjustment. So you don't give them the, you don't give them the, the auto motion. You don't want to give that tell away to them. And then you just you just go ahead and just take it from there. So let's see if we can get that on the back inside. So waited a little bit too long or actually got rid of that ball a little bit too quick. But uh, that's going to be... Uh, the area of the field. So if you got two high safeties, this is where this is where this play gets magical. Uh, you're going to be able to, going to get that separation and get uh, get people right in the middle. Uh, and also, if you got a guy that runs a lot of cover four too, that's going to be where it's going to be magical. So let's go into levels against a single high safety. We're going to go and wheel up our running back and see what happens on the back end side. Nobody's over there. Just that running back is just naked on the back end side. If I don't get uh, a, a, a block shed, you'll see how that works out for you. So we're going to go with stay with the, the doubles cross. I've uh, got a two eye safety type situation. And we're just going to go and do a high pass lead and go ahead and just take that ball at the, red, the back side of the red zone. Levels cross our levels. We're going to wheel up our running back. And now I've got the other side that I can I can go and hit there too. So not getting the animation that I want, uh, but you can see how that actually works. Now, play action curl is kind of like a similar play too. Um, you can do Fitzgerald's route, uh, but what's going to happen a lot of times is that that shrinks a little bit further out. So I like between five and, and ten yards, a little bit further out to do play action curl. This is where I'm going to go ahead and jump into this 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 play. This is going to be one of the plays I'm going to go ahead and do. So if you get the animation, you got two safeties on there, the two high safeties. That's the best way to go with it. And of course, you just go ahead and do a nice little inside zone, keep your opponent honest. Uh, just a nice little hard yards to go and get the ball into the red zone too. So, uh, go into this this uh, scheme, guys. I, I, I recommend going and taking a ch uh, checking this out. Let's see if we can get this. Here we go. So, backside uh, play opportunity with Fitzgerald, but he doesn't stay in. Probably just maybe one yard out or so. Uh, that would actually help. So let's go and see if we can try this one more time. Backside play opportunity. So getting a little uh, waiting for that play, forcing that in there. And also you've got that backside receiver out that you can hit. Give yourself an opportunity to score in the backside of the uh, backside of it. So uh, once again, to my patrons, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, I really support. I really appreciate your support. I'll be running now. I'll be rolling another red zone scheme, which is going to be out of the single back formation. Uh, what I like about this is this is going to allow you to go ahead and attack your opponent with a good run play. Uh, you got run plays on the inside and then the outside, uh, and it's going to allow you to go ahead and attack your opponent um, on the backside of the end zone. So uh, another good play offense to do that. So once again, to my uh, patrons, thank you for your support, guys. Until next time. Hey, Patreon guys, once again, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and show you a red zone scheme out of this uh, Cardinals playbook uh, and basically how to attack your opponent with uh, this 
Uh, single back A. So we're gonna have Z spot, the misdirection, skinny post, and the flanker drive is our base uh, is our plays. Uh, the base play we're gonna call out of the huddle is gonna be this pitch. And what's cool about this pitch is that it's gonna make your opponent honest as far as attacking the run. Um, you know, sometimes you're not gonna get the best leverage down in the red zone with this pitch play but a lot of times you you will get um, some pretty good leverage so if you can go ahead and take it out to the corner and just run the ball in that's going to help you dramatically so it's going to keep your opponents honest with it um, you also can use the misdirection and once again when i use a misdirection i want to go ahead and show my opponent pitch so i'm going to go ahead and manually adjust our guys and then just go ahead and do the little misdirection to go ahead and take the ball running in so i'm about five yards out um and with this you can play but uh, it's 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 pretty much a good way to go and, and keep your opponents honest with the run. So right here, so you able to go and just take the ball right into the red zone. Now, uh, passing plays, uh, really what it comes down to, uh, Z-Spot is going to be one of the plays we're going to take a look at. Uh, we've got uh, basically some backside routes. Uh, a flat route should open up. Uh, and should give you an opportunity. You've also got this deep corner route, which I forced in there against these random defenses. But uh, let's go ahead and see if we can go ahead and do this. Now, the first thing you need to take a look at is uh, you're going to take a look at Kirk's route. This is really good for a two-point conversion type route. So you can see how he comes up short of the red zone. But if you get the two-point conversion uh, with this, this route, you're actually going to have um, a more of an opportunity to get the ball into the red zone. So just a little auto motion, spot, and just pop it and just go and see if we can take it in. So right there, I've got two yards to get the ball in the red zone. So two-point conversion is definitely a good play to jump into. Now, um, another thing that you have is that backside route by Fitzgerald. So let's just say if we can get this route to, to open up, we can. I uh, But I just get a little block shit right there because of the way the route, the, the, the time it takes that route to develop. Now, my preference in the red zone is not to use this particular route, uh, but actually go ahead and use the other play, which is going to be the flanker drive play, because this gives you, a, it's going to be a little bit quicker. So what I'll do is I'll take the opposite side uh, uh, tight end. So you see Seals Jones, he's on that, that um that, that route, which is going to be just a, a, a streak route, I'm going to go ahead and put him in a drag route. And the reason why is I've got mesh um, going on, and then I've got over the top, I've got this route, which is going to be that deep end route. So I got knocked off, off my feet right there, so let's just go ahead and see if we can try it again. Trust me, these routes work. I'm just trying to go ahead and just to tie up this Cardinals ebook for you. But you can see right here, wide open, ball sails on me. That's part of the labbing got to deal with these type of bad plays right there so I got to do a high pass league so I can get past uh, any kind of a zone coverage over the middle so let's see if we get some good animation finally got some good animation right there uh, with that route so what's cool about the flanker dig is that uh, you can go ahead and flip the play drag up the backside uh, tight end which is going to be Grisham show him the pitch off to the left and now what's going to happen is now you've got uh, your other guy in the backhand side that you can go ahead and drop that ball down to. So it just gives you an opportunity to go ahead and attack your opponent on the backhand side. Uh, skinny post is another play that you can go ahead and, and use. You can drag up your, your, your tight ends. And what I like to do is I like to smart route those post routes. And sometimes these post routes will actually get pretty good separation. So let's see if we can go ahead and get that. Just force that ball right in there. Uh, but really what it comes down to is this flanker drive play is going to be the more consistent of the two. You've got the inside route. You can show your opponent the pitch. You've got that opportunity because the defenders are going to come down and play that mesh route or you can drop it down to you can drop it to either one of the mesh routes if the guys play over the top. You're not going to get a lot of players that are actually going to go ahead and use um, you know, basically underneath or underneath coverage, or not going to use like over the top coverage in the red zone. Just not going to do it. So it's not going to be something you're normally going to see. So let's see here, right here, I'm able to go ahead and get the good animation, but the guy, but FS drill popped out, jumped out. So uh, once again, my Patreon guys, you go ahead and jump into this, this particular play, this uh, formation down in the red zone. I will also recommend going and take a look at the stack. I've, I've found that the stack is a little bit more glitchy. Uh, the, the gun wing stack is a little bit more glitchy in the red zone, but this is just going to keep your opponent honest more than anything else, uh, where you can get some pretty good running uh, with the with the halfback. So, thanks a lot, guys, Patreons. I really appreciate it. Until next time.